Hey, good people. These are your ingredients for your yellow vanilla cake. Now, the frosting, we'll be talking about that later. So, y'all go on and get ready. Hey, 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 cooking with your girl, Judy. Today, I'm going to make a chocolate cake. It's called a van yellow vanilla cake. Right, yellow vanilla cake. It's going to be, uh, yep. So I heard something blow up. It was um, it's gonna be yellow on the inside and chocolate on the outside. And that's the only cake I don't really have on my channel. I don't have a hummingbird cake. I'm gonna try to get all my cakes made on my channel. So we're gonna start out with uh, the mixing of the wet ingredients first. Okay, we're going to start with the butter and the ingredients that you need for this cake in the beginning of the video. I'm going to always do my cake videos like that. I'm going to put them, put the ingredients and the measurements in the beginning of the um, video. So you'll need <clears throat> some butter. Melted butter, not melted, softened butter. You'll need sugar. And you're going to mix it up and get it fluffy. Vanilla flavor, vanilla extract. And I'm gonna put a little almond flavor in it. It don't call for almond flavor, but I like almond flavor. So I'm gonna put about a teaspoon of almond flavor. Pulling it down <clears throat> around the sides.
while we're waiting on that to mix, we're going to add our dry ingredients. Flour. Bacon powder. And salt. We're going to mix it together. We're using four eggs, one at a time. Pulling it down. down Okay, now we're going to add the dry ingredients, alternate the wet ingredients, which is milk.
Adding a little bit more flour. And milk. Rest of the flour. And the rest of the milk. I'm going to mix it with the spatula to make sure I have it all, all the ingredients mixed up in this yellow cake. I'm going to get it all off that spatula. Make sure there's none at the bottom. Wow, I smell that almond flavor already. Okay. Now I'm going to spray my pans with Baker Joy. Baker's Joy. Drop the little cake batter in there.
And I've got my oven on 350. It's been warming up for about maybe five minutes. in that one. And this is going to be a yellow cake with chocolate icing. And this one is going out to the preacher. And his wife, Brenda. So I won't be able to cut it and sample it. Because I've started my diet today. I run out of that. Okay, now I'm going to measure them evenly in the pan with ice cream scoop, like I always do. Let me get rid of some of this. Smells good already. Okay, I'm going to pop them around. Get a little air out of them, and I'm going to put. I'm going on to uh, put them in the oven. I'll be right back. Okay, there are the cakes. They were in for about maybe 20, 20 minutes. I always take them out about maybe five minutes um, before because they're still cooking in the pan, so uh, they're moist, good and moist. Um, bouncy i'm gonna uh let them cool off for about maybe five minutes seven minutes and then i'm gonna take them out okay while we are waiting for the cakes to cool off i'm gonna uh, go ahead and make the chocolate frosting i used the eight ounce pack of cream cheese it's already it's already in there and then we're going to use one and a half cup of butter. So each stick is a half. It's one. And this one is the half.
We're going to mix it up. I didn't mean melted butter, uh, softened butter. I don't know why I want to keep calling it melted, but uh, one and a half cup of soft, softened butter. So now we're getting ready to mix it up. from the sides. This is called a chocolate cream cheese frosting. It's just like the regular cream cheese, but it's only got bacon. I mean, it's got uh, cocoa in it. good and soft so it's uh mixing real well pulling it down now I'm gonna add one and a half cup of cocoa And I'm going to start it off real slow because I don't want the cocoa to poof up in my face. That's the way it's supposed to look until you add the uh, milk and uh, powdered sugar. It's the 
supposed to have a peanut butter look. Pulling it down. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of milk. Sweet milk. Whole milk. I'm going to add, supposed to add eight cups of powdered sugar, but I'm going to start off with four. And I'm going to gradually add it in, maybe at a cup at a time. I'm going to add a little bit more. Add in the third cup. I'm going to add the fourth cup. I'm going to add a little bit more milk. Instead of two tablespoons, we're going to go ahead and go with three 
tablespoons. Putting the powder sugar down so it can be thoroughly mixed. This is a real good icing. And it's good too. I used it on my uh, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate cake recipe. I have that on the uh, chocolate delight. I have that on the uh, on my channel, and this is the icing that I used for my chocolate delight cake. The cake I got up at twelve o'clock at night to make. They are the layers. They're perfect, all except for that one in the middle. It sort of got a little dark. But I normally take them out five minutes before they're supposed to be out. And uh, because they continue to cook in the oven, I mean, cook in the pan as they sit. But uh, I'm quite sure it's good. They're moist, soft. supposed to be eight cups of powdered sugar. I'm going to go ahead and put two more. Okay, let me put two more cups of powdered sugar in. Oh, I forgot.
Ooh, that was good while I got it. I've been eating strictly pineapples today. Chunk pineapples. I had some left over from my carrot cake last night. So I have been eating strictly pineapples and drinking plenty of water. And then actually uh, the next day, like tomorrow, I am really going to start my green smoothie diet. But uh, those pineapple chunks, chunks have been good. I'm going to give it one more go around. There's your chocolate icing. I'm going to go away and layer these cakes. And I promise you I won't taste. But it's tempting. But I had truly forgot. Okay. See you later. Okay, here's the first layer. We're fixing to add this chocolate icing on it. One. Two. And since the pans of cake were smaller than the normal ones I've been doing, we're going to add two and a half. Okay, and I'm going to go away, and when I come back, they should be icing up. Okay, we're through with the chocolate cake now. And uh, like I say, I can't cut it because it's going out to the uh, to Reverend Harris and his lovely wife, Brenda. I'm going to let you take a look at it. Woo. There it is. This is one of the moistest chocolate cakes ever. And I'm quite sure it's moist. But I'm going to put it in this really cute little box right here. Wait a minute. And it's going to Reverend Harris and his wife, Brenda. So I won't be getting to taste this cake. And I have one more I have to make for them. And it's a uh, red velvet. <laughs> Somebody ring the doorbell. But I'm going to tell you something. Be humble. Be blessed. And y'all have a good day. Subscribe, like, and comment to my video, Chocolate Cake.
Bye for now. Today is Skylar's birthday, and she turned four years old. And she cut her eyebrows off. She cut her eyebrows off, or she called herself arching them. Okay, I just want to shout out a happy birthday to, to my baby Skylar. And check this little tutu out. Turn around, Skylar. Check the tutu out. Okay. Y'all ain't got to go home. But y'all got to get out of here. Bye for yeah. now. Ha, ha, ha.